So a question I've been getting a lot recently is, is there going to be a housing market crash? Now, I thought there was going to be a housing market crash, but it seems like there's a bit of a buying frenzy at the moment. So let's talk about that. And let me give you my uh, ideas and my predictions as to what's going to happen. So for the last sort of six months or so, we've been waiting to see what's going to happen because we're the whole uncertainty of lockdown and COVID. And we didn't know what the government was going to do. So I, I anticipated that around April time, there would be some kind of correction in the market. Well, the bottom line is um, we've had things that have stimulated the market. We've had things like uh, uh, the stamp duty uh, a cut. So, you know, that that's kind of a, a big benefit right now. And also since the, um, the, the Chancellor made his announcement, there's a new scheme now to help first time buyers uh, to get on the, the, the property ladder with 95% um, mortgages. So let's talk about that because that's kind of stimulated the market. Uh, and people are saying, well, what's going to happen? You know, I thought there was going to be a crash or is there going to be a crash? What, what on earth is going to happen? Okay, so look, here's what, my, what I think is going to happen. So I think we've got a limited time. We've got, uh, uh, I think it's until September uh, 2021 for the stamp duty um, cuts, okay? But this is gonna be tapered off. So I think what's gonna happen is it's gonna stay at 500K uh, until about June. Then from June, it's gonna drop down to 250K. And then from September, it goes back to what it was, which is I think 125K. So what's gonna happen is at the moment, there is a bit of a buying frenzy. So there's people who've got cash who will be buying properties, taking advantage of that stamp duty cut. And also whilst we've got this, um, this new, this new scheme and this new incentive for people to get 95% mortgages, there's gonna be a lot of people that will want to go and buy. So it's kind of stimulating and prop the property market up, but it's not gonna last forever. Here's why. So eventually what's gonna happen is, I don't think there's gonna be a crash, but I think there's definitely gonna be a correction. So what will happen is as that government support starts to taper off, what will happen is things will flatten out and that buying frenzy is going to slow down. So what will happen is, and I've seen this before, I saw this in the last recession. I think if you go back to 2007, 2008, you know, there was this kind of recession. What happened was for a year, things were okay. And then all of a sudden, I think it got to 2008 when the, the crap really hit the fad. And there was a tons and tons of repossessions. There's lots of landlords and lots of people that kind of fell over, fell flat on their face. Lots of properties got repossessed. And then what happened, there was a buying frenzy. There was all these investors going out and buying and buying and buying. Then all of a sudden they got to a point where they had their fill, okay, and they didn't have more cash to buy. And at that point, I remember speaking to a friend of mine who has a chain of estate agents down in Kent. And he said, like, he used to deal with the repossession companies and he used to say, look, all their investors have had their fill and what the repossession companies are now doing and the, and the mortgage companies are now doing is that they are drip feeding what they have onto the market because they don't want to flood the market. Now, I don't say, I'm don't say i not saying that because I don't think there's going to be a flood, massive repossessions. What I'm saying is the pattern that I've seen before is people will buy once they've had their fill and they've spent their money, things will slow down, okay? So this is what's going to happen. There will be some kind of slowing down. There will be some kind of correction and flattening out. And I think at that point, that's going to be the sweet spot. The other thing is, I think this this uh, scheme that people have got with uh, around getting ninety five percent mortgages, I think it's given people a lot of hope. But there is a there's a, a there's a big problem with this is people people think they're just going to be able to go out and get ninety five percent mortgages easily. If you think about it, it's all going to be dependent on someone's uh, affordability, and then also it's the uh, um, you know the, the kind of job security they've got. So I recently spoke with a family member who came to me for some advice, like, hey, look, we can get now get these 95% mortgages we think we can get on the ladder. For where they live in London, they have to spend about 300,000 pounds just to get on the ladder. Uh, and to support a mortgage like that, someone needs to be earning around about 70 grand a year. Now, if they're earning 70 grand a year, then that's fine. Not everybody is. So although this, this kind of, um, this incentive is out there, not everyone's gonna be able to take advantage. And those people who, even those people who are earning that kind of money, um, there is the the affordability and there's also the job security. So if they're in a job where, let's say they're a doctor or a lawyer and they've got job security, then lenders are gonna be happy with that. If someone is in a situation where their job may not be so secure, um, then the lenders are gonna be a little bit more cautious about lending. Because the thing is, if you think about it, okay, they'll only have a 5% deposit or 5% equity in the deal. But what happens if there's a correction later on and prices dip by 5%, 
Some of those people can have little to no equity or they can even be in a negative equity situation. The banks are aware of this and they'll be factor this in, factoring in this in. Are you in a career or a career path that's likely to go under and are you likely to kind of get repossessed or, you know, or default on the mortgage? So although that those two things are out there at the moment, they are kind of giving people hope. They are kind of making this a little bit of a frenzy, but I think there will be a correction. So I think if we come to September um, 2021, by the time we get to the autumn, those government incentives for stamp duty will be cut. And I think people start to realize not everyone can get a 95% mortgage. There will be a flattening of the market, okay? But it doesn't matter what's going on in the market, okay? When the market, you know, when, when the market is flat, when we are, you know, in a recession, there's always gonna be massive opportunities. But even when we're not, there's always gonna be distressed sellers out there, okay? I'm a big, big fan of buying mm. through um, direct vendor vehicles. That means not going through estate agents and, and trying to buy stuff on market, which is, you know, you're competing with everyone else. If you're trying to buy investment properties right now, then you're gonna be competing with loads of other people who are maybe vanilla type of investors who've got money in the bank and they just wanna put it into a buy to let. You know, at the moment, if you think about it, the base rate is is incredibly low. Uh, this talks about the base rate going to a negative. That means people who've got cash in the bank will be losing money. Their money's going to be devaluing because of inflation. Those people will put stock, you know, put their money into stock, uh, into into buy to let properties. And like I say, once they've had their fill, you know, the market is going to flatten out. Okay. The thing that I advise people to do, and I'm a huge fan of, is going direct to vendors. So this is learning how to find deals off market, finding distressed and motivated sellers, because you're always gonna be able to get a better deal doing that. Those kind of deals are always out there. And one of the things I, try, I teach in my, um, uh, you know, my masterclass is, is how to go out and find, find those motivated seller deals. The biggest thing that people have as a challenge is actually believing they exist. Uh, you know, when I speak to students or people who come into the academy, the first thing I say to them is go down to your local county court any day of the week that it's open and go and see the amount of repossession hearings that there are. You'll go into the court, you'll see a list on the wall that says, you know, Santander versus Jones, uh, Woolwich, you know, no, it's Woolwich Bar Barclays Bank now uh, versus uh, Mr. and Mrs. Brown, you know, this particular lender versus this. You see a long list of people who are going to court for repossession. This stuff exists, even at the best of times. Your job as a, you know, as a, as a smart investor is to learn how to find those, learn how to find those kind of deals because you'll always get better deals especially when they're off market, you're not competing with everyone else. You'll get a better deals in terms of, terms of price and you'll also get a better deal in terms of the terms. So if you wanna do any kind of creative deals, you wanna do things like lease options, uh, you know, exchange with delay completion, vendor finance, that kind of stuff, there's always gonna be that opportunity when you go direct to vendor because there's fewer people competing. When it's on with a state agent, you're just competing with every Tom, Dick and Harry. And the other thing is remember, estate agents, not all of them, but most of them, they're salespeople. They'll play you off, they'll do, Hey, look, do you want to come back and, you know, we've got this other person interested and, you know, do you want to make a, you know, do you want to make an offer or they, they've made an offer, do you want to increase your bid? Don't get into those bidding wars, right? You want to go direct to vendor, deal with them and not have any competition. So this is what I'd advise, okay? So when it comes to the housing market, is there going to be a crash? There's going to be a correction for sure. I think that's going to be around September, October time, around the summertime, but there's always going to be those deals. So I hope you found this video useful. Please put your comments. If you've got any other questions, please please put your, your questions and your comments or your thoughts in the, in the comment section below. Please like and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next video. Take care. Bye for now.